Todd from Evolution Power Sports, and we're here in Phoenix, Arizona at our manufacturing facility. And uh, as you can see, we're not in communist China, and there's no underage kids building our exhaust systems. Um, but what we have here is our three new Polaris Pro-R exhaust systems. And even though it's been about three and a half months since we started the R&D process, we like to make sure that every one of our exhaust systems has a distinct sound, and we've achieved that with these three systems. We've got here the three different exhaust systems that we've come up with for the Pro-R. These are the final versions. But I want to take you back over here to where we started. So as you can see here, we have a few of the prototype systems um, that we have designed and manufactured and tested that didn't make the final cut. Each one of these mufflers has a different sound chamber inside of them, but it's a, it's a process you know, trial and error process to really create the, the correct sound as well as uh, the right power level for this vehicle. We have not taken any off the shelf exhaust system or any muffler and basically just slapped on an inlet and an outlet to it. Um, these are tuned and sound specific for the Pro-R. The Pro-R has a very distinctive sound to it and we were trying to create something that was a lot more exotic and I think that we've achieved that with the various different systems that we've created. So similar to the process we go through on the exhaust systems, we do the same thing with the headers. So we take the factory header, kind of analyze exactly what the theory is behind this system and replicate it in a certain manner uh, to try to increase exhaust velocity, scavenging, and obviously add more horsepower. Some of these different designs, we've changed the diameter of the primary tubes, the length of the primary tubes, the length of the secondary tubes, diameter of the secondary tubes. This is just some of the headers that we use for testing to see how much power we could actually make with them. Some actually work better than others. This header that we uh, spent a lot of time with and cut off to have different collectors, uh, different secondary tubes with different restrictions. So we've measured back pressure and we've come up with a header system that actually works the best. That's the one that's on the car right now. A couple of the key features, the runner length, uh, we tried to keep the runners close to equal length as possible. The other key feature, it's got a four to one collector with a large secondary. Um, but what we did is we designed this to run inside the frame rail here. Uh, the factory header actually runs outside the frame rail and is susceptible to rocks and things hitting it. Um, but we wanted to basically make sure it stayed within the frame rail and our header bolts up to the factory muffler or one of our uh, sport exhausts. So the three different exhausts, so I kind of want to go through what each one of them is and the, and the specific features about it. Obviously this is our slip-on, utilizes the factory tip, everything bolts on, factory spark arrester, and um, this is for somebody who wants to have a, a better sound, better performance, but retain the OEM look. This is very similar design, but obviously has twin outlets. Same exhaust mounting, interchangeable tips. Uh, we have actually three different muffler tip options. We've got a standard stainless tip, slash cut. We've got a dual wall burnt tip option and then the option that's on the car the black stainless and dry carbon tip all three of the dual tip outlet exhaust tips are interchangeable on either of our two exhausts here something a little bit different with this system uh, we wanted to go for even a little bit more of an exotic sound and instead of going with our standard muffler can we changed it up a little bit and went with a freer flowing round canister uh, with uh, a different sound chamber design than the other two systems. This system is a little bit louder, but 
really captures the exotic sports car sound we were after. Something I want to point out is, you know, we go through the extra steps to really create something that is not only functional but visually appealing. So you'll see some of these prototype muffler systems have very simple metal hanger brackets. And yes, they work, but it wouldn't be an Evo exhaust just being fine. So we go through the extra steps to create really nice mounting brackets um, to really elevate the exhaust systems. All the systems have a built-in heat shield with a contrast color backing for the Evo logo. All of our exhaust systems also feature our genuine EVP made in the USA exhaust tag because every part of this exhaust system is manufactured right here in Phoenix, Arizona, right in this facility, made in America. So that's an overview of our exhaust development R&D process for the Players Pro R, how we got from this exhaust system through all the different variations, different header systems to our final exhaust systems. All proudly made here in Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for watching and look for these Polaris Pro R exhaust systems real soon.